Okay. Here's a tip and thought on kettlebell swings. So we're trying to diminish things that we're doing repetitively that could cause injury. So we're already in a internally rotated uh, culture. Everything we do, a lot of stuff, whether driving, typing, um, pressing. So now we come to kettlebell and I've done this for 10 years now. So swings, this bell, you're gonna have your arms, shoulders, internally rotated. And to some people that aren't engaging their lats and pulling the shoulder blades back and sh shoulders, they're gonna have even more. So when I swing, I tend to keep my shoulders pulled back. But even so, I'm always internally rotated. So if you're doing a lot of kettlebell swings, I would recommend, it's even worse if you're doing, if you're rotating over with one hand. So it brings the shoulder even more to the midline of the body. So I'm a big fan of suitcase swings to the outside. So you want to get closer. This will have thumbs forward, a neutral grip. You can keep your shoulders. So that keeps the shoulders back in a neutral position instead of internally rotated. So this is a 60 pound kettlebell, 226 pounds, so 52. You can match it up. Um, I'm still a big fan of doing heavy outside. So that's 122 pound swings. Um, it's another reason why I like getting two kettlebells of the same size versus just a super giant heavy kettlebell. If I bought a 122 pound kettlebell, what am I going to do with it? Probably not going to snatch it, probably not going to do tur doing Turkish get ups, but if I get two 60 pound bells, I can swing, I can clean press, all sorts of stuff. And I can also get the swings in and open up to so many other things instead of getting one giant bell. Um, but anyway, so think about that. Instead of always having your internally rotated close swings, try them with your thumbs forward grip and your shoulders back. Um, it would be a good complimentary thing to do. Swing this.